Hello everyone, welcome back to Let Go and Let God Ballcast. I am so glad y'all have stayed tuned in. Make sure you subscribe. I mean, you're already here anyways, you might as well. I'm changing my ways, I'm seeking your face, yeah. Um, I do have a couple, some news. Some, um, I did get cash out money, though, that I receive from it is going to be go given into this ministry. It's going to be given a part of the kingdom to make it grow so that way we can keep improving. Others and many more are being saved and added into the kingdom of God. And y'all know me, I don't like, I am a type of person, I do not like to ask for money, especially this. I do this freely with my heart, you know, um, with what I can. I use what God has given me for His glory alone. And everything I tell y'all is for y'all know, like, there's other people. You have to pay to listen to a broadcast, to read a whole, like vlog of advice but this is all free i'm y'all literally getting good stuff for free but if y'all want to support another way um the cash app i'll have that link in the description um but yeah that will be added to god's kingdom alone it's not going to be for me so that way we can have another tripod another um camera whatever you know so that way we can grow in this ministry but so let's get right into this episode the topic um we're going to be talking about spiritual laziness as y'all can tell by the title because i know we all struggled it by this i even struggle with it myself you know to this day because you know sometimes we forget that oh i need to read my bible like i need to get into god's word you know or like sometimes we just get lazy you know because we're humans you know we have we're lazy we're strong you know and there's times that we do get lazy you know and most of the time it's because the devil wants us to get lazy you know and we're not meant to be lazy and sin being soft low that's a sin you know because you're being lazy you're not being strong like god has called you to be and whenever you're lazy then you're like oh i don't care like i'm tired like i can't do it but you know you gotta remember god gives you strength you know but the devil he doesn't want us to be strong in god you know because he knows you have great potential in serving god and bringing others closer to god you know because the devil he's scared of us being strong with christ you know because he knows that whenever we're walking in christ when we have a strong foundation in him when we have a strong relationship with him we're able to like be more of conquerors we're able to be a light even to others and the devil he's scared of that he is scared of the light he is scared of what god can do what god can bring into our lives what happens whenever you take out fish out of its water you know it dies what happens whenever you take out the tree from its soil it also dies so that's also like us whenever we become disconnected with god whenever we become disconnected with god you know we start being dead spiritually because we are not focused on him we don't have a connection with him we're only made righteous in him because whenever we have christ he builds us up we are strong in him whenever we get spiritually lazy then it puts our our spirit to sleep and to deep sleep we don't want to wake up from reality we don't want to wake up to knowing the truth and that truth is going to set us free you know and the bible says know the truth and the truth shall set you free you know it's going to set you to be a part of this world it's going to set you to be have your addictions broken off whenever you get lazy you know it's going to be hard getting into god's word because you're going to be distracted by other things by the things of this world whenever you're not reading your bible or whenever you're not praying or like speaking to him or listening to him you're focused on the phone you know and doing other things that is getting your attention by the wrong way you know when we scroll on tiktok you know i talked this before but you know we scroll and everything and it's draining you know we start comparing ourselves to 
others we start saying oh i want this what they have i want the life that they're living and you know, and it's draining and it's not healthy it's not healthy for your mentally or spiritually you know it's bad it's not good for us and that's why we got to stay connected with god and the way we stay connected with god is praying you know talk to him you know because not only he's your savior but he's your friend he's your best friend and pray pray to him like please god help me help help me spiritually mentally physically you know heal me heal my mind heal my spirit he hears a righteous man he hears those who humble themselves and go to him and ask for help he hears our needs and then whenever you're distracted you know those things are going to be blocking the voice of god because there's bad distractions another main reason why you're being disconnected from god is fear whenever we get connected with god whenever we're like once we feel his presence once we feel his love i want to share my friends about god you know because this is what i've been experiencing i want them to be able to experience the love the peace that i've been experienced too you know because that is what helps them you know you know that that's going to help them because if it has helped you then it's going to help them too and you got to remember too god didn't give us the spirit of fear but of a sound mind you know where we should ha- be able to talk to others about god you know about his love his mercy you know his forgiveness you know and and like in the bible too when jonah ran he kept running away from god you know god kept telling him like go spread my word go tell others about me you know but jonah he kept running away from him but god kept showing him and pulling him close to god and he kept telling jonah like look i'm gonna keep telling you i'm gonna keep reminding you of what you need to do what you need to tell others you know he would always he's gonna always constantly remind us and you gotta be a doer of god you know you can't expect everything for God to just fall in your hands, you know, you can't think that everything is just going to fall perfectly in your hands, you know, like I told you too before, this walk with Christ is not easy, it's not peaches and cream, that's why we are being strong in Christ, because we have a strong foundation in Him that we are able to get through things that other people can't get through, you know, because we have that strong foundation of God. He gives us strength when we need it. You know, he gives us understanding when we don't know why we're going through things. And, you know, and you got to pray to God. That's how you stay connected with him. You know, that's like with any relationship that you have, you know, with your mom, with your best friend, with your boyfriend, with your girlfriend. You know, if there's no talking, there's no communication, then there's no relationship, you know. So same thing with a relationship with God. And recognize and repent that you have been far from god that you have been lazy that you haven't been really reading your word like you should be be honest with god you know talk to him god likes it when we're honest you know he wants us to go to him and whenever you talk to god from there he will take on he will he will start showing you what you need to work on what you need to start setting apart so that you can be more focused on him And so that way you can not be lazy, but want to get into your word, want to get into prayer, want to get into reading about him and knowing him, you know, and God, he exposes our sin. You know, he knows what's keeping us, what things are keeping us from going to him, what things are keeping us from reading our Bible. You know, it might even be TV. You might be wanting to watch tv after you get home because you're like oh i'm so tired from work like i just want to chill but you know go to god you know because he gives us peace and understanding you know and you can do it in an easy way too you know you don't gotta do like a whole 45 minute either and like that's what i want to talk about in my next episode is like how to read your bible like just a whole thing like how to read your bible because i know people some people i whenever i first started reading the bible too i didn't even know where to start in the bible but you know there's certain chapters that you can start off but i do want to talk about that later on in the next maybe in the next episode um but god will expose your sins you know because that's the battle between life and death you know whenever if we don't 
if we choose our sins over God, then it's just going to break us. You know, that's why we got to see our imperfections. That's why we got to improve every day that we know God, his word. So that way we're like, okay, this is bad. This is wrong. I need to fix this. You know, I need to go to him, you know, and take action, you know, surrender give it all to God, God will show you, you know, why you're being disconnected, why you're being lazy from him, you know, and he will bring conviction, you know, whenever you have God in you, when you know God, when you love God, you'll feel that conviction, you'll be like, dang, like, this isn't right, you know, I shouldn't be doing this, so, yeah, don't be lazy, you know, stay strong, I know there's a lot of people who like to work, you know, work, yes, physically but also work spiritually to you know be strong in the lord you know you don't want to get lazy you don't want to end up your spirit dying and your spirit is going to lead into hell if it's dead you know if there's no meat on it if you're not feeding your spirit then you know you're going to end up in hell because you're not making it strong you're not growing it you're not feeding it with the right things and so, but that's why God loves us because he wants to give us the right fruits. You know, he wants to give us his life, his word, his, which is his bread that we need every day, you know, and so that way we can make it to heaven. And so thank y'all guys so much for staying tuned in and I'll see y'all in the next episode. I'm changing my ways. I'm seeking your face, yeah.